Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, I wanted to do this, uh, uh, you know, like uh, study. It's a uh, very simple, and especially for those who do not know anything about Islam. Now we know in Islam there's many things the Muslims believe in, so I put there the most important things for them. If we say Islam, what does that mean? The Muslims will say to you that they believe in one God, supposedly his name is Allah, his prophet is Muhammad, they pray to the Kaaba, they do Hajj, Quran is the book of Allah, and they wish to go to heaven, and they believe in destiny, and they kiss a black stone. This is the like uh, uh, not everything, but you know the circle, cannot, the, the, like the picture cannot take more really. Uh, so I wanted to start from the most important part in in this uh, circle in here, like what Islam is all about. Simply is about Allah. Then if we go and ask ourselves a very easy question, who is Allah? If you ask any Muslim who is Allah, simply he will never answer you. Or what he will say to you, Allah is the Creator. Allah is the one who created you. Allah is the one who will destroy you. Allah is the one who will take you to hell. Allah is going to take you to, to heaven. You know, I'm not asking you what he will do. I'm asking you who is he. Simply, they do not know. They have no idea who is Allah. And this is very funny that somebody is inviting you to worship his God. When he himself, he do not know his God, who is he? So, what the Muslims knew exactly about their God? I made many videos before trying to show people what Allah is about. Simply, all what the Muslims knew about Allah, that he have a leg. And he is a leg actually, because if you ask Muslims, the leg of Allah is attached to his butt, they will say, no, Allah don't have a butt. Okay, do he, his, his leg attached to his waist, they will say, no, he don't have a waist. To his chest, no, he don't have a chest. To his neck, no, he don't have, uh, so, so uh, Allah is just a leg. As long as he don't have a butt, he don't have a waist, he don't have a, as long as he is a leg, he is leg. And by the way, this is in chapter six, uh, 68, verse number 42. And I made a video before showing you that Allah is a leg, and you can go and see it, and you can see all the reference, and even Muhammad, he says that you will see Allah in a physical shape. You will see Allah physically, and it's going to be very easy to see him when he show his leg. And when we knew that Allah is a leg now, this is what we knew about him, we ask ourselves, okay, what this leg is made from? You know, remember, the Muslim says Allah don't eat. He do not need to eat. He do not need to sleep, he do not need to, so, so why he is a leg even? If he is a leg, it means he as a leg is made from material. Because a leg, it is, it is something, it's material, it's simply uh, 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 small things put it together and this is what we call it at the end, uh, physical shape of something. And you know, we knew that any physical shape is made, uh, after all, from electricity. Electricity like the wall simply is a small cells they are attached to each other and those they will make a wall and same your body your body is simply is a chain of uh, wiring cells attached to each other those will make a shape of, of your body so when Allah he have a leg as we see in the screen I'm not sure if Allah leg by the way it's uh, it's the same beautiful as this leg uh, we have no idea it might be hairy it might be so because the Muslims they say to us Allah leg is not like yours. This is what they say to us. Yeah, he have a leg, but his leg is not like yours. Okay, you know what? I'm not asking you if it's like mine or not. Maybe he's an octopus. What do you mean not like mine? If it's not like mine, it's it might be a snake. You know, like because because imagine, guys, he is a leg. He have eyes. He have mouth. Uh, and it's a snake. So Allah, who have a leg and this leg is ended with eyes and mouth uh, the only option I see it's a snake and then we ask ourselves why he have a leg even you know if God he can move anywhere like somebody will say okay why Jesus he have legs you know well Jesus you know simply he is a man You know, for us, when we believe in Jesus Christ, we are believing in the Lord showing himself as a man. So, as a man, he have legs, and he move with those legs. In the same time, he did miracles, which means he do not need 
or he don't have to, but he decide to, he choose to. Because the one who can do walk in the top of the water, the one who can control the storms, you know, simply proving to us that his, his, his needs is not really a need. He just showing us his glory by being one of us. But the, the, the case, you know, in the case of Islam and the case of Allah is totally different. Because simply, why Allah, he need a leg even? He is not coming to us as a human. And this is the, his real shape. This is how he is. So why he has a leg? And if he walk, how he walk? He walk with one leg? This is mean like, you know, if you watch the cartoon, like when the, like a rasul, like point point he jump why he have one leg why he don't have two what the one leg for and then we ask ourselves another question if Allah is a leg and this leg don't have a spirit so how Muslims they say to us that this leg is a life I don't know if you understand what I'm saying this is a plastic leg. A plastic leg don't have a spirit. Simply, why? Because it's just a plastic leg. There's no spirit, it's not alive. The Muslims, they say to us that Allah is alive. But if you ask any Muslim, and ask those who they are scholars, don't ask those Muslim kids, because most of them, they have no idea what Islam is about. Allah is not a spirit, and He has no spirit. He is not a spirit, remember, and He has no spirit. This is mean that this is a dead leg. Because a spirit simply is the life. No spirit, no life. Why we say somebody is dead body now? Simply because he don't have a spirit, he is just a body. Body without a spirit is a dead body. So Allah the leg is dead body. So it simply is a dead leg. Then we ask another question. Allah was born with one leg? Muslims will say Allah never born. Okay, so how it happened that he is a leg? No answer. He was born? No, he was not. Okay, he have a leg. How? From where it came from? And maybe he got it later? Does his uh, leg grow? Does it grow? I'm not going to ask you if it's, it's hairy, you know, maybe, I don't know. What is the size of his foot? And is it naked leg or Allah, he wear clothes? Simply all those questions will lead you to something very easy to understand, that this is very stupid religion to believe in. Because this God who is not a spirit and he is a leg, and this leg is made out of something. And this is how he was from the beginning. Remember, he was this way from the beginning. The beginning from the time he, you know, from like, like this is eternal way. He is always a leg. Okay, nothing come like it's it's a it's a material. If there was no material before him, how he himself is a material. If there is nothing was exist before him, he is the one who created the material, right? This is what the Muslim says. But it's very clear that he himself is a material, which means he himself is created out of something being created before he exists. And again, the Muslims will say to you, oh, what about Jesus Christ? You know, as again we say, Jesus Christ is the word of God showed to us as a person, as a man. This is not the way God is. God, he decided to show his glory in any way he want. Our God is a spirit. He is not a man. He showed his glory as a man. He showed himself in the person of a man. But he is not a man. He is not a bird. He is not a leg. He showed himself in the way he liked. And here the case is totally different. Allah himself is a leg, always and been, always been, always been a leg. He is not showing himself in the shape of a leg. He is a leg. So this leg which made it from something, proving to us that Allah cannot be God. Because it is made, and this leg, it is from material which exists. 
And as long if we take this leg, Allah does not exist no more, it means the material is Allah. You know, if Allah is a leg, which means if we destroy this leg, we destroyed Allah. Regardless if we can or not, the Muslim will say you cannot, no problem. But if this leg not exists, Allah does not exist. So simply Allah is just a material and it's very funny to believe that God is a leg. And Muslims, they say to us, I advise them to say, no God but the leg. See you on the coming video. Christ is Lord. Amen.